what we are doing, guys, is we are completing the story quest line that you get in Season 1. Once you go through to complete the storyline, you're going to be going through a side quest to where we're going to be able to fight Echoes of Varshan at the different world tiers. So by doing this, we are going to be getting different recipes to be able to go fight him multiple times. The big reason that we are doing this to fight uh, the Varshan Echoes is because he drops very, very, very good loot. And he also drops really good experience, okay? And more importantly, once we get up to World Tier 4, we're going to be able to unlock. And he's going to drop us the World Tier 4 White or Wrathful Malignant Hearts, which makes our builds super, super strong. So once you guys finish your quest line, I definitely encourage you to go quest line and finish it. Finish the one with Cormon. And once you do that, you're going to go through and finish out the rest of the stuff in this video. And you're going to be able to do this and really, really grind out for not only some decent XP, some very, very good gear, as well as some very good Malignant Hearts. After you complete the quest line, you're going to go to World Tier 1 or 2. And you're going to come over here into the map, into uh, the 4th zone or 4th act. And you're going to go to the Revening Pit. This is where we're going to fight the uh, Invoker, this is where we're going to fight Varshan and advance through the World Tier stages. So you're, all we're going to do is going to go down. We're going to go here and we're going to do Monstrous Outgrowth and we're going to pop this thing, okay? What this is going to do is it's going to consume our Invoker of Varshan or allow us to use this to summon him. So we're going to interact. Use an Invoker on the Outgrowth. And this should summon him. Now you have to do this, the Echo of Varshan. This is going to do it in World Tier 1 or 2. Either one is perfectly fine. And then after we defeat him, we're going to come back and do this two more times all the way through um, each act. So now we get a Caged Heart. And then, more importantly, we get the recipe for the Foul Invoker of Varshan. This is very important, so now we can go craft the next one that we can do in World Tier 3. And then we'll get the recipe for the next one going into World Tier 4. So now we have the recipe, Foul Voker of Varshan. Bring to Koromon's workshop to learn how to make a Foul Invoker of Varshan. Learn this item and gives us the, the recipe to be able to do this. So this is what we're going to be able to do in World Tiers 3 and 4. So we're going to come over to the workbench. We should be able to just to right click on this. And now, recipe learn, Foul Voker of Varshan. We can go here and now we can craft one. Foul or Vicious, Foul Invoker of Varshan. So now we need an Invoker of Varshan along with Sigil Powder to be able to get it. Now, in order to be able to craft one of these, it's like, crap, well, where do I get another Foul Invoker? You remember the, the items that we got from completing him the very first time, Varshan Modest Effects, as well as the Icker. So we're going to open up the, the bag, and we're going to see everything that we got from it. Recipe for Invoker of Varshan. Varshan's prayer necklace and then a sealed cache of Icker. We got another one of these. So now the recipe for Invoker of Varshan is what's going to allow us to be able to craft it. So we're going to go in here. We're going to learn this recipe. Boom. Now we can come over to the Invokers and we can actually craft the Invoker of Varshan in order to craft a Foul Invoker. So we're going to craft one. Boom. And then we're going to craft a Foul Invoker of Varshan. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be able to take this and now we're going to go change it to World Tier 3 and we're going to do the same process all over again. Now we're going to go all the way back to the same exact dungeon, the Revening Pit, and we're going to go fight him again. Okay, so once you guys get into the uh, Revening Pit, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go all the way down to the boss. And what it's going to do is we're going to click on it the same way and it's going to consume the Foul Invoker of Varshan. And we're going to fight another Echo. So we click on the Monstrous Growth. Boom, we're going to go fight him again. And this is going to be really, really cool. All right, so we get an amulet. The Echo of Varshan is complete. We got another Caged Heart. And now we have the Recipe Tormented Invoker of Varshan. Boom. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go back to town. And we're going to redo this all over again into World Tier 4. So we're going to come over, guys. We just finished the World Tier 1. We got the Recipe of the Torment, Tormented Invoker of Varshan. So we're going to go over to Cormon's workbench, and we're going to turn this in. we got a brand new uh, Tormented Invoker of Varshan recipe. So now we can go in here again. We need to craft a Tormented one. So now we need another Invoker of Varshan. So we'll craft one of those. And then we'll craft the Tormented one. Boom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go change it to World Tier 4. So that way we can do the very last Echo of Varshan in World Tier 4. And get the recipe to be able to fight him over and over again. 
So let's go do that now. Super under level, but because my team is absolutely insane, we shouldn't have too much of an issue fighting Varshan here. Get all of my shouts back because my Barbarian is actually one of the best. I take that back. Take that back. We'll, we'll cut that one. We'll cut that part in the video. Last HP. There we go. And the echo of Varshan and World Tier 4 is completed. So, as you guys can see, the reason that we're doing this is because you get a lot of um, Ickers. You get some really good gear and then some caged hearts, okay? I'm getting sacred gear and stuff because I'm still only level 60. So, once you get up to the higher levels into World Tier 4 because of the minimum of being uh, 70, then this gear stuff will be more uh, ancestral than just sacred. But the gear is going to be very, very good. Um, let's see. We got some more really good Malignant Hearts. And that completes that. So now we're able to fight the Echo of Varshan at any level in the game. All we have to do is go to the table. We have to create um, Invoker of Varshans. Uh, and then we can make whatever world tier that you're at. The biggest reason for all this is because you're going to get a lot of gear. You're going to get some good XP. And you're going to get, uh, more importantly, the Caged Hearts. And we actually got a, a lot of stuff to be able to come in here and just make the caches. We can make more of the invokers to fight him over and over and over again. So, guys, go through the quest line, finish it, and then follow the steps that I've laid out in this video to be able to complete all of this and get some really, really, really strong rewards for doing the Echo of Varshan fights. It's actually really, really easy to do and very... Very fun to do, actually, and if you're really trying to hone in on some particular white or wrathful malignant hearts that you need for your builds at whatever world tier that you're at, then I definitely encourage you to come farm this over and over again. As you can see, we have the cage chart of the malignant uh, pact here, which is really cool. Every 20 kills, it cycles through attack speed and then devious, which is very, very strong. And then I probably have the best, arguably the best white or wrathful malignant heart for the barbarian is the cage heart of creeping death your damage over time effects are increased by 41 percent for each crowd control effect on the target and unstoppable and staggered bosses they take even more with this bleed build in particular with this one we not only apply slow every single time we apply stun so that's two effects so that's 82 percent increased damage over time as a multiplier not additive so this is very very strong in the end game i'm just waiting for a super gear piece to get this so definitely if you want some more white or wrathful malignant hearts farm this strategy guys so like the video finish your quest line comment down below what do you guys think about uh, the entire quest line of the Malignant Hearts in the season, the quest was really, really cool. It doesn't take very long, maybe a few hours at, at the most. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I thought it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I hope that future seasons have some really cool quest lines like this each and every single time. That would just be really something extra to do, especially if you're skipping the campaign. And subscribe if you guys are new, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.